That's right. Can I put the winter coat away? <laughs> <laughs> At least for a few days, I think, right? We're going to have some really warm temperatures. Yeah, maybe t-shirt and shorts weather for you, Louie. Check out this gorgeous sunrise picture that was sent to me from our good friend Lou Nachman. He takes the most beautiful pictures. I mean, this is just stunning. As you said, a lot of nice color out there, Louie, this time of year with the clouds around. There's Winston-Salem. You see the clouds passing overhead today. Not rain-making clouds, but definitely nice sunset picture-making clouds. Now, we are looking at some of those clouds in the forecast again tomorrow as we welcome in Christmas day for some of you. Christmas morning temperatures will be in the low 40s, so a little cool, but hey, we have had much colder, right? In the 20s and 30s, so we're looking at dry skies with only a few clouds. Our numbers right now are in the 40s in Galax and Mount Airy, and we've got low 50s for Lexington, Burlington, High Point. The high this afternoon was 61 degrees. Yeah, we've come a long way. We were in the 40s earlier this week, and we're set to get close to 70 degrees. We are tied right now for the sixth warmest start to December with an average high temperature of 59.1. That's about six and a half degrees above average. And this is where we are headed over the weekend. And then look at next week, the end of the year. There's New Year's Eve Friday. Where we've got temperatures for the end of December that are easily 10 to close to 20 degrees above normal. So a lot of warmth in the deep south and a whole lot of cold off to the north and west. That is where the really rough weather is, the rain and the snow. And that is going to be moving across the northern plains this weekend. We've got several storm systems kind of lining up. So you can see the snow in the white, and you're looking at rain over the desert southwest. So early tomorrow morning, you've got, of course, some cold air out west, and then you've got rain right through the Ohio Valley into the Northeast. So it looks like kind of a soggy Christmas day from about DC up to New York City. It'll be rainy and cool. Plenty of warmth down south. We've got 80 and 84 for high temperatures in and around Dallas and New Orleans. Then Sunday morning, we got some cold air in the Northeast. We have yet another storm system out West that is spreading snow and rain into the afternoon. So if you're headed home Sunday and you're headed West, there could be some travel delays. Now we've got a warm front lifting North, which means that warm air I was just talking about over Texas is going to be headed our way. We'll see a few passing clouds with that, so it won't be totally sunny tomorrow, but that means good sunrise and sunset picks, right? Breezy conditions. In fact, the winds will get your attention tomorrow. If you're outside, they'll be gusting at times 20, 25 miles an hour. If you get some nice toys under the tree, maybe you can take them outside and play. You've got 68 degrees tomorrow afternoon. For the foothills, we're going to have temperatures in the 40s to start, a high of about 67 late tomorrow. Also, those breezy conditions. Mountains, high temperature close to 60, and it did put in a small chance of rain. This is mainly for west-facing slopes as we do have a front that's going to kind of nose in here late tomorrow. So we'll take you into Sunday where we've got temperatures that are going to stay warm toward the coast. We're in the 70s. Got a little bit of a change coming up next week with more clouds and a better chance of rain. But check out the highs on Tuesday in the 70s. And then we will bring some rain chances our way Wednesday and Thursday. Monday, ECU is in the Military Bowl in Annapolis, Maryland. A chance for a shower. Temperatures will be in the mid 40s. In NC State heads to San Diego where the weather is usually gorgeous. Not so next week as we've got a chance of rain and temperatures that are in the 50s. There is your seven day forecast. Again, we are above normal for the rest of this year.